Hello and welcome to the 12th lecture. It's about how to get ahead in your career. Throughout this series, I study in the US, I have repeatedly mentioned the word trajectory. Your trajectory is very important when it comes to uh, getting ahead in your career. And that's why in this brief lecture, I will ask you 12 questions and ask you to find answers about them. First question is that, do you look for mentors, not motivators? A lot of the times uh, when it comes to uh, setting up our career goals, we look for motivations and kind words and supportive words, but actually uh, helpful people will be your mentors who will let you learn something, will help you learn something and will give you helpful suggestions relevant to your career. The second one is about our attribute. One of the most common attribute of uh, in today's world is that people say I'm busy in every scenario. If you have this syndrome, then you will be uh, having a hard time setting up your career goals because you will be uh, busy showing off that you are, uh, you will be busy showing off that you are doing so many things but actually you are not effectively using your time setting up your career goals. So instead of uh, saying repeatedly to people that you are busy, you should uh, actually practice a healthy uh, routine, uh, uh, which will help you finish your tasks uh, every day and uh, which will help you set up your career goals in long term. The third question is that, can you exploit your circumstance? I have mentioned in uh, one earlier lecture that your circumstance is likely to be not optimum most of the times. And therefore your focus should be completing today's tasks and bookkeeping uh, so that you can see your progress day by day. And at the end of a significant amount of time uh, at the uh, at every reasonable interval, for example, one month or six months, you will see that you have managed to accomplish uh, significant uh, achievements. And uh, you should be uh, indifferent about your circumstance, whether it is helpful or not. Uh, and you should not be uh, too worried about your circumstance, rather you should be worried about completing your tasks today. Number four is that attention is actually like money. It's like currency. The thing that you give your attention to for a significant amount of time will generate result. If you, if you give your attention to uh, completing your tasks, your tasks will be completed. If you give your attention to showing up, you will be spending a lot of time showing up and uh, eventually you will be accomplishing nothing. And therefore you sh your attention should be narrowed down to only important stuff. Number five is that you should be able to see through your plan and you should always have a backup plan in case, um, in case your plan A or your default plan is not working or a part of that plan fails. So uh, you should actually uh, segment your plan uh, into different tasks, long-term and short-term goals. And you should uh, uh, have backup plans for those smaller tasks so that you can modify and you can come up, uh, you can accomplish the task at the end of the day, uh, irrespective, uh, irrespective of the circumstance. The sixth question is about the comfort zone. Sometimes we are, uh, habituated uh, of being in our comfort zone for a long time and, and we do not want to get out of it. But, uh, uh, but if we spend our entire life inside our comfort zone, if we read materials that we, uh, uh, if we only read materials that we like, if we only discuss the topics that we know about, then we will always be short of knowledge. And that's why we should get out of our comfort zone to explore new possibilities when it comes to higher study, research, or in general, career. 
A lot, a lot of the time, especially freshers, they take impulsive decisions when it comes to taking a job offer or pursuing higher study. Because when experience is negligible, our emotion is, is skyrocketed and we have a very hard time taking a correct decision. That's why when it comes to take, uh, when it comes to taking a decision, we should always invest time before actually committing. Number eight is, is about smartness. We always think that when someone is 30 years of age or 25 years of age, he or she will have a certain level of smartness, which is not true. Smartness does not come with age, rather it comes with dealing difficult situations. Um, in other words, it comes with experience. So you should be habituated with dealing uh, difficult situations. And uh, after dealing with a significant amount of difficult situations and after taking responsibilities for those difficult situations and your taken decisions, you will become smart. Uh, it, will not, uh, it will not come free or by default. Number nine is uh, about stiffness. Uh, when I'm saying the word stiff, I mean personality and our targets. Sometimes we are wrong about what we are thinking about ourselves. Uh, uh, for example, sometimes we can think that I will be a very good researcher, uh, whether, um, whether in truth, uh, whether in reality, uh, possibly I will be good, uh, I'll be a good fit for an industry position, and it can be vice versa. So if you're too stiff and, and you are uh, too opinionated, then you will definitely lose um, some of your possibilities. Possibly you will end up losing uh, very good opportunities and that come your way. So you should be uh, flexible up to a certain extent. Number 10 is that sometimes we are very much habituated with uh, supervised learning or we are always fond of taking suggestions about every topic. But when it comes to higher study, especially PhD, you are expected to generate results, accomplish tasks, or complete projects with minimal supervision or suggestions. And uh, in other words, you are expected to become an independent researcher. And this kind of attribute comes in handy in other fields as well. So you should ask yourself how much you can do with minimal supervision or without taking suggestions from other, whether you are able to solve any problem by yourself. Number 11 is that, do you recognize the important things in your life? Sometimes we're too much, uh, sometimes we're too much preoccupied with our career goals and we just see, see things in terms of money or quantifiable parameters. But, the uh, non-technical soft things in our lives, like uh, uh, family and values and other attributes, those are also equally and sometimes more important than your career and how much money you're making. So you should always uh, incorporate these soft parameters uh, and valuable parameters into your calculation so that you can take a wise decision, wise overall decision. Number 12 is about ego. Oh, in today's world, we are very, very egotistical. We are very much opinionated and uh, we are always entitled. And uh, this actually uh, hurts us big time when it comes to uh, pursuing higher study or when it, comes to get, uh, when it comes to getting ahead in our career. If you are too much egotistical, if you overestimate yourself, uh, you end up uh, disrespecting others, you end up wasting opportunities. And that's why you should be humble and modest when it, uh, when it comes to academia or industry. So that are the 12 questions that I have asked. And if you have good answers to these questions, I believe that you will be on your way of getting ahead in your career. Thank you.